Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. In the last episode, we got a bone beef cake slip steak. Like, they got a bunch of different stinking names for it. We got a piece of meat that we gave to the dog, and now we're able to go through the back alley to find the missing pieces of the photo that we are trying to assemble. For whatever reason, I do not know yet, but Layton knows, and he'll tell us as soon as we get it solved, of course. Oh, it's you two. Hey, I know you. You're Mr. Anderson's daughter. Yes, my name is Katia. What brings you to full sense? I'm sorry, but I can't really talk about it. Excuse me, I have to get back to my search. Goodbye. Katia, wait a moment. What are you looking for? Wow, she moves fast. To think Katia was headed to full sense all along, just as we were. I believe we've uncovered the identity of the third party asking around about the Elysium Box. So Katya is looking for the Elysium Box as well. The possibility is hard to ignore, yes. Didn't we already decipher that? I don't know. Let's go ahead and get this other piece of paper. Hopefully we'll just be smooth sailing from here on out. Uh, though there's probably going to be some hidden puzzles on the way even still. Uh, this is not a dead end like I thought it was, so we could keep on going forward, or we could go back around. Uh, let's go back this way real quick, just to see what's on this side. Yeah, because this one is a dead end, so it'd be good to get this right now. Look at that, there's another shred of photograph sitting in the pile of rubbish. You stay here, Professor, I'll go get it. Watch your footing, Luke, that pile of rubbish looks quite precarious. Here it is. What I can't figure out is why the inspector was rooting around in the trash and up in the first place. Did he really think that the criminal would be hiding out here? Hard to say. He could have just been pawing through it for clues or the like. Or maybe the wind blew it over into the trash. You don't always have to assume that Inspector Chummy is like just dumpster diving for funsies or something like that. It's a whole lot of second examination thingies. Uh, doesn't have. Thank you, we got one hint coin. We got nothing. We got two hint coins. Finding gold within the garbage. Or treasure within the trash, whatever the saying is. Uh, I guess that's it. Okay, no hidden puzzles or anything. Just gonna head this way once again. Uh, we examined around here already, right? Let's go this way. And we got some guy hanging on the back alley. And hey, there is no a piece of paper on this side, or maybe that guy picked it up. I have no idea. I mean, to go in there. Don't activate talking. Thank you. That, that music sounds really creepy and ominous. Dogie. Okay. Full change the Gilded Town. Yeah, that's what they used to call this place way back when. I used to work down in the mines that gave the town its nickname. Well, I did till they closed them a few years ago. Even now, sometimes I catch punks sneaking down into just the mine to see if anything's going down there. They always come back empty-handed, though. You can bet your hat on that. We've certainly heard rumors of the great fortune Duke Harrison left behind. Ah, uh, so you're another one of them treasure hunters, huh? In that case, take it from me. The real money is not in that mine. It's just the Duke's. It's in the Duke's castle. Of course, you may have trouble getting it, considering there's a vampire living up there. Alright, enough small talk. I gotta get back to figuring out what this scrap is that I picked up. I know, I know. It's a scrap of a photo, and we've been looking all over for it. Oh, so this ain't yours, is it? Well, I guess I got no use for it, so go on and take it. Okay, we didn't even have to solve a puzzle or anything like that. I was just kind enough to hand it over. Very, very nice. Uh, we got that. We got... Nothing else, it seems. Oh, okay. Always gotta speak too soon, I guess. And go in there. Hey, there's another scrap from that photo. Boy, Inspector Chummy sure gets around. Got that one, nine more to go. Making quick progress and a hidden puzzle. We haven't had one of these in a while. Gosh, this place sure has some unusual art. I don't even know what to make of this picture. Hmm, which picture are you talking about, Luke? This one here. Are they? Are these funny shapes some kind of code? It seems as if you stumbled across a puzzle. Look here. Puzzle number 86, Perplexing Figures. 
A bunch of figures are arranged in a pattern as shown below. As you can see, the figure that should go in space 1 is missing. Can you draw the figure that belongs in the space? Drag your stylus through the devotes divots in the board to draw the figure. Hit number 1. Focus on the right half of the figures uh, 2 through 6. Hit number 2. Look closely. There's a letter hidden within each figure. Hit number 3. Consider the pattern going on it in shapes and first figure and the first figure should correspond to the letter A. I don't even know what they're asking me to do, but whatever. Uh see how see the how to answer guide below. Oh god. There's a whole guide to it, so I gotta draw a figure as shown. If I draw that, that's it. Okay then. See if this works. Wait, what? Well, I'm stumped. God darn it, I forgot to draw a line it. Hashtag reset. And those are the three hint coins for this area. Okay. Some may say that I'd be incredibly cheap by resetting when I'm already cheating so stinking much, but if I'm cheating this much, I might as well go all in. And also, it's just like super duper OCD when like the total number of pick rats I have is in a five or a zero. So what I had to do is draw this and then this line through. I forgot the line. This is what you need to draw. I hope at least. Hmm. Let's see if this works. Thank you, Smiling Luke. That was only the first puzzle of this episode. We're already like 10 minutes in. What the fruit? Uh, I don't even understand this puzzle, so I'm just going to get out of here. Oh, now I see how it works. And we get an ingredient, the tonic flower. Uh, let's see. Is that all the tea ingredients? One more, and then we'll be good to go. Okay, we're very close to finishing up a mini game. Once we do that, we'll have a tea making sesh. Uh, we reached a dead end. Huh, that's kind of awkward. So where would the rest of the scrap pieces of paper be, I wonder? Perhaps the inspector went down a different path besides just this one. I guess this was just our starting point. Uh, I guess we're going to keep on going down. Let's see, we picked up seven scraps so far. I guess we've got more work ahead of us. Yes, the job is far from over. It would seem we're about halfway there, give or take a piece. But we've walked the length of this alley, and I think it's safe to say we won't find anything else here. I say we focus on... We focus the remainder of our search on other places the inspector likely visited. Uh, anything new for us? You do not. So I guess we're just going through all of the different areas to... Wait, the owner say, do you know who this person is? Everyone does. The same value owns the Molentary Express. Mr. Beluga owns the museum. Huh. See, Mr. Beluga owns not only the Monterey Express, but the Harrison Museum as well. Weird. What would what use Mr. Beluga have with a little museum like that? Who could say? For now, what's clear is that Mr. Beluga may have ties to the Harrison's he's kept quiet about. Just done John with each other, you two? Yeah, he knows about John. Uh, wait, he had a scrap piece of paper for us? Okay, that's useful. Uh, I guess we could go this way. So we have to be talking to people as well. Uh, it's not good to just, like, skip over people. So what do you got for us? I understand this restaurant is the full set site. It does not have anything for us. Maybe the inside people have something? This guy just wants tea. Don't care. I don't want to give him tea. God stinking darn it. No, I'm not brewing it with, with this dude. Get on out of here. At least not yet, anyway. You'll all get your tea in due time. Got this guy over here. Boy, you two sure do run around a bunch, huh? You best get caught because they, they never catch me doing that. I'd get all sweaty. That's all you had to say. This person all the way in the back, though, has a puzzle for... Oh, looks like a little Luke. Look, he looks so adorable. Hey, guys, what you doing here? Hello, little boy. We're looking for bits of a torn photo. Have you seen any pieces around? 
Yeah, the wind blew this thing by me. Is that what you guys are looking for? I'm normally all about finders keepers, but I'll give you to you if you solve this puzzle. Puzzle number 101, Disappearing Act 1. Here's a classic puzzle. The rules are simple. You can move any ball on the board below as long as it satisfies to the following conditions. To move, jump on your selected ball over an adjacent space occupied by another ball into an empty space on the other side. You can't jump diagonally. Once you've made the jump, the ball you jumped over disappears from the board. To complete the puzzle, you must remove all balls from the board except for one. Okay, enough rules. Try for yourself. I think this is the one in... of. Uh, Curious Village, I was super excited to show off a certain series of hints that were in like a repeat puzzle, like a series of puzzles, but like it didn't ever end up happening. So I think it's in this series of puzzles where we'll get that funny line of dialogue, but not for now, it'll be for one later on. Hint number one, make the first of the balls disappear by jumping the ball in the center of the cross over the ball to its immediate left or right. Hint number two, move the ball at the very bottom of the space formerly occupied by the center ball. With just a few balls to go now, you should be able to sail through the rest of this puzzle. Hint number three. With puzzles of this type, your first move will often determine whether or not you'll be able to solve the puzzle. The solution is a step-by-step -step process. Step-by-step, -step, I'm in control, don't be uptight. Case-by-case, something-something-something, it'll be alright. I really wish that... A show continued and uh, got like the dub continued and stuff because I don't like the Japanese version, but whatever. Well done. This is one uh, configuration of a puzzle known as a peg solitaire. As the name suggests, the traditional version of this game is played with pegs that you insert into holes in the game board. Anyone who's been to a Cracker Barrel probably loves this game. Oh, I get it now. Thanks for your help, guys. Here's that thing you wanted. You know, there used to be lots more people in full sense back in the day, but then everyone left. Or you killed them. Uh, but that's just speculation for now. Uh, this guy wants tea now. I don't care. Let's go down here. I want to find all the scrap pieces of paper, though, before the game ends or before the episode ends. We're only 15 minutes in, so yeah, we, we should be able to do this, no problem. Or for people who want treasure hunting, the dusty castle outside of town. They said the vampire with big fangs lives up there. Yikes. Are you talking about the vampire who's rumored to live up in Harrison Castle? Well, gosh, if you knew what I was talking about, why'd you make me explain it? Anyway, even though the whole fang thing sounds creepy, that old vampire is nothing but to be scared of. As long as you have a cross or some garlic, you're good to go. Actually, I, even, I bet even a hunk of garlic bread would do the trick. Really? Oh, yeah, everyone knows that. Hey, I just met you two. Do you know what this is? I meant, or I meant to ask you, I just met you two, so here's this piece of paper. No. I sure do. That's a piece of photograph we're looking for. Well, then you should have it. I was just going to throw it away. There we go. Six more to go. 3DS is close to dying, so let's hurry this up if we can. Uh, Mr. Rogers, got anything for us? Too many people in the town that prize gold or silver. Worth, my opinion, the real treasure in full sense are those items that have witnessed its long history. Oh, to me, the true treasure is friendship. Come on, Mr. Rogers. Okay, let's go down here. And another scrap piece of paper just laying around. Luke, is that another fragment of our missing photograph I see? Okay, simple as that. Wasn't there before, but now it is. Uh, I'm going to assume they don't need us to go back inside, because we would have gotten it by now. This guy is just as useless as ever. Not even going to say it this time. Can't even go back there. Oh, it's going to give us the spooky train music. I don't care. Okay. And over here. Granny Riddleton most likely won't have anything for us because she's never really plot relevant. Uh, we went in here already, right? That was Mr. Rogers' house. Yes. Okay, head on out. Go up here. And this away. And uh, yeah, I wonder if she's going to have... Oh, it looks like the inspector has found a new victim to grill. Oh, guy's talking to the hooker. So, the only way to full sense is through a narrow mountain pass on the Military Express. In other words, no one gets in or out of town without riding that train, correct? Oh, I see you've been doing your homework. Yes, I think you got your facts straight. Age takes its toll on memory, you know. You can't tell by looking at me, but I'm no spring chicken. That's quite enough, madam. If you're sure about the route to town, then we're finished here. Barton, let's go. Hmm? 
I mean, yes, sir. All rats, he dashed off. I was sure I could get him to come in and take in a show. Honestly, some boys just can't sit still for five minutes, tee hee. Okay, thankfully we don't have to talk to her and feel very uncomfortable for a series of minutes and seconds. We can just grab it and go. And then we don't have an option to even go in there, thankfully. Unless that's your thing, I guess. Uh, don't want to go in there because Grand Realty will not have anything new for us. But of course, now that I say that's going to happen, be like, eliminate the impossible. Whatever remains must be the truth. There's another one right there. We are missing three of them. Does she have one for us as well? Why is everyone so quick? To, it was a matter of the path. There's a block with the gate that's always locked. Take the soul path to the castle then. Uh, she tells us about the bushes again. La 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 la. Uh, to the left first. Uh, there's another one. Now it's not like Sandy from Battle for Bikini Bottom. Oh my god, like, I've been thinking of like some ways that I could redo that LP just because it turned out so horrible in my opinion. And also like... I don't think I've talked about this, but, like, Steven Hillenburg's passing, like, I still can't even comprehend that that actually happened, and it was just... Now, this guy look. His name's Duke, and he looks like an older Luke. It's like, the whole Luke family is here. I just found this piece of trash on the ground. Oh, glittering is the most boorish hobbit one could have. Oh, look, Professor, it's part of the photo. Yes, that appears to be the case. I guess that pieces really are scattered all over town. What a huge pain. It may take some legwork, but each piece brings us closer to the answer. We must retrieve them all. Sorry to break up the tea party, but I'm the one who picked that up, you know. If you want it so badly, you have to solve this puzzle for me first, okay? You were gonna throw it away, you jerk. Whatever. 112, turn on the light. The board shown on the left is wired in the underside so that holding contact points A and B together turns on the light. Now look at the picture on the right. This light has three contact points, A, B, and C. No matter whether you hold contact points A and B, B and C, or A and C together, the light stays on. In that case, how much, how must the wires be connected on the underside of the board? Draw the solution that requires the fewest number of connections. The dotted red line indicates a known wire. Hint number one. No matter whether you hold the contact points A and B, B and C, or A and C together, the light stays on. This might make you think that the electricity has to run through all three of these connections, but at the same time, the positive and negative signals need to be isolated from each other, which makes things more difficult. Read the conditions you have to meet again as carefully as you can. Hint number two. You might be tempted to construct something resembling a proper wiring job, but that won't do the trick here. Be flexible in your thinking about what will get the job done. Hint number three. You only need to draw one wire. So the solution... is... Oh, you just have to... Wait! No! That move! Puzzle solved. Well, I suppose that's one possibility eliminated. I didn't think I could draw the line. I just had to write a number of how many. Consider this puzzle solved. And the uh, oh, sad pandas, and it's like the end of the episode. I hate you. God darn it. Balls, sacks. Uh. Is he in here or no? Funny if the final piece was in here. Oh, we could go forward? This guy with a very creepy finger wants some tea. We could go into the museum. I don't want to go there yet. I don't think we need to, but... Uh... It's too late to reset. Uh... We just need to mess up another puzzle to even it out or something like that. Uh... Angry... Just head up here. I swear to God, if you don't... Just want tea. I don't think they'd like switch back and forth between like wanting tea and giving us plot advancements. Do you have it for us? You do not.
was I even talking about? It was like Spongebob. Oh yeah, okay, so I, I feel horrible about Steven Hillenburg passing away. There's just like, I'm still not over that or like comprehending that that actually happened. And I wanted to like do something in, in his honor, but like there's no other Spongebob game that I enjoy nearly as much as Battle for Bikini Bottom. And I don't like redoing Let's Plays, so I don't know. I There is one game in mind that I would want to redo a Let's Play of, but I don't know if I'm going to add Battle for Bikini Bottom to that list, especially since like it happened a lot more recently in comparison, I guess, to everything else. Um, I don't know, I guess I'll just have to wait and see. Uh, let's go up here. Talk to him again. No, he just constantly wants tea. Alright, we'll check Granny Riddleton's shack, because we actually check the area of the map at least. It could just be on the ground there. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, thankfully she did not have that would have been annoying. Nope. So I have no idea where this final piece is. I uh, don't know what else we could say really. I know like that little bit of dialogue it gave us, it made me feel like that we should have found them all by now. I don't want to go into the museum though. Um let's just check up there, I guess, cause um, maybe it is going to be like right there where we all like come full circle and everything like that. Let's see what he's got for us. Creepy pointer dude. He just wants tea though. Go here. Yeah, we can't go inside. Museum doors are shut. This guy though, he just wants tea. So very thirsty. He looks very sinking creepy. My god. Don't want to. No, I don't want to brew him a tea. Get. No. Get. No. No. Quit. Head down, and head up. Talk to him. Now he has a puzzle for us. Great. Howdy, the name's Gregorio, and I'd sooner run now than chicken soup than go a day without chess. You want to be on my good side and hear what I have to say? Fine, but I verse a little chess. Well, this should be interesting. Puzzle number 106, the Knight's Tour 1. Hopefully this gives us the final piece. Leave the knight... Leave the knight on a trip around the board below. Chess knights move two squares forward and one square perpendicular on each turn. The initial direction can be up, down, left, or right. Move this knight around the entire board, landing on each square only once. Hint number one. This puzzle is way more fun if you solve it yourself, so you should keep the hints to a minimum if you can. Okay, maybe this is the series of uh, puzzles that have funny hints. But if you're completely stuck, your first move takes the knight to the middle column. Hint number two. For your second and third moves, you don't have any choice where to put the knight, but after that, you should move the knight into the bottom row. Hint number three. If you get stuck after the part of the puzzle mentioned in hint two, head to the top of the part on the board. Uh, so we just want to bring him right here. Okay. Just tap at this time and then tap him up here. And down here. Okay, I see. We just wanted to touch all the pieces of the board like they just said. Okay, okay, and then for a split path like this, to the bottom right, we'll do that, and then right here, and here, and here, and here. I don't know anything about chess, so I have no problem using a guide right here, as opposed to using guides everywhere else. And there we have it. Well done, the Knight's Tour is a classic puzzle that's well known in many countries. Very nice, sonny boy. There's one where that comes from. There's more than where that comes from. Let's take a breather for now so I can hammer you. Back in the day, this town was full of aristocratic families, but one day they just up and left. Their hairs and family is pretty much the only upper crusty family left in town. We got a puzzle. He did not have the scrap piece of paper for us, so I'm going to go ahead and look at ups because my 3DS is about to die, and I do not want to end this episode off by having to redo literally everything, though I might redo it anyway because I failed that puzzle unfairly. Ooh, we're not going to talk about that. Now you have it for us! Um... Duke Hurston's fortune. Okay. Gonna lead on the final photo. Go into the forest. Okay, so the final one only appears after you've gotten all the previous ones, then talk to this guy then 
go to that dead end area in the forest. 3DS is blinking red, so let's hurry the heck up and get over there as soon as humanly possible. Okay, make our way over there. And... Hopefully I could not get lost. Meanwhile, elsewhere... God darn it, cutscene! So you say he comes into town pretty often? Oh yeah, I mean, he thinks about it. He rides the Military Express for free whenever he wants. I guess that's one of the perks of owning your own railway. Hey, and whenever I see him around, he's always a shabby looking guy in the conductor's outfit. Next time I'm out of town, he's shooting his conductor guy for one another. He seems to... Oh my god, so much text! I still don't see the fuss over the Odyssey box. As far as I'm concerned, it's just a box. Inspector, pardon me, but sir, I just require very few air courses out of my checks out. Is that so? That's that, isn't it? Ha. Ha 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 ha. Bato, we got our man. Gather all the suspects at the hotel and we'll put this case to bed. Hmm? But I'm sorry, whatever the murder is, we shouldn't we go make an arrest and be done with it? Ah? Uh, but sometimes I think it might be the thickest Bobby I've ever met. There is no greater thrill in life of the law officer than calling out a guilty party in front of a crowd. This is the moment in the case that's been building toward. Now everyone gather on the tumult. I swear to Christ, if I, my 3DS dies, okay, good, we're good, go, go, go! Get it up, puzzle! Okay, it's very spooky and high up, we're gonna go grab it now, okay, sure. No, we just grab, wait, a lot of them, let's see if we can piece it together. Oh, the, f f put it together as a puzzle, 116, hints just appear on the screen, go! It's a corner, it's a corner, oh god. 116, 116, 116, 116, 116, oh god. Oh man, we have to have one of these in every late NLP because this is actually something that happens in just like when you're playing regularly. Okay, uh, oh man, oh geez, oh god. Uh, let's see, where's that, uh, flip it around right here. Is that good, maybe, possibly? Um, let's, uh, flip this around oh boy oh, let's just look at the final photo I guess um this goes right here I suppose um okay that looks good I need like another little blue thingy okay that works just turn around, put it right there. Uh, let's see. Okay, that looks good. Does that look good? Not quite. Uh, put this right here. Uh, oh god. Switch these two around? No. Oh no, oh jeez. This is an intense race to the finish. Oh, okay, it was right there. Okay, we're good. Um Let's see. Oh my god darn it, why don't I just go and get the stinking charger? Is that right? I think, maybe. Um. Huh. That right there is the final corner piece, I think. No, not quite, but that goes there. Um. Uh, that goes right there. Okay, cool. This goes there. That goes here. No. No. This one looks a bit wonky, so let's try... That, that looks better. Okay, okay. Perfect. That's it, right? God, I hope. God, I hope. God, I hope. God, I hope. Thank you! Okay, good. Now please don't have a series of text. Hurry up. Go. What is the picture of? I have no idea. I don't care. Let me save. There it is, all of it. Okay, cool, thank you. Gosh, Professor. Luke, I guess let's go to the listening box. Okay, cool. 
Uh, that resembles myself with an unusual emblem. Okay, so it's the Elysian box. How amazing and suspicious. I mean, the box still killed poor Schrader. Okay, cool. I don't care. Let's go and think about it now somewhere else. Ah, Luke. Oh, God, did you lose all the pieces again? What are we going to do now? The wind blew away one of the photo pieces. This is quite unfortunate turn of events. Uh, evil frog. It got rid of the middle one. There wasn't even a middle one right there before. Oh, what? Torn photo! It was the Elysium box. Big surprise. And goat emblem. What the goat? Professor and Luke decided to continue their investigation in town. Okay, we're gonna end this off right now. Next time, Professor Lee and the Diablo Box, we're gonna continue our investigation in town. This has been the NBA, and I'll see you all later. Good night.